Today I want to show you my favorite tomato to grow in the kitchen garden. It's so rare, it's so delicious. You're gonna love it. It's called Berry's Crazy Cherry. If you're the kind of person who is into beautiful gardens and tons of plants and delicious harvests and tips and tricks on how to grow more of the food and the plants that you love, then you've gotta to subscribe to the Gardenary channel. You can hit that button right here on this page and you'll get a notification every time we drop a new video that's gonna inspire you and teach you a new trick or a new design or walk you through a tour of a garden like this one to keep you growing all year long. It is bred by Wild Boar Farms. If you've never heard of Brad Gates, he's a tomato genius and I love almost all the things I've grown of his. I planted these tomatoes from seed indoors back in February. It is now July. We planted these tomatoes in this kitchen garden in April and you can see how these vines are doing. Now, I haven't been tending these very much. Uh, this is for a client's garden but these tomatoes are ripe when they turn yellow. And you can see how much they're vining out. Just this one plant has produced loads of stems. And look at how prolific the florets are on these plants. So on one little truss, you're gonna get about 10 to 15 tomatoes, which is really rare to find uh, unless you're growing like a sweet million or something like that. Brad's tomatoes often are just so flavorful, so sweet, um, and just you know a milder flavor if you aren't necessarily a huge, huge fan of that strong acidity in a tomato. So this is one plant. You can see just how many tomatoes are growing here. We need to twine this on the trellis a little bit. Check out this one though. It's even more prolific. You can see all of these tomatoes here growing right alongside this cucumber and you can see how this truss is producing all of these yummy, tasty tomatoes. I'm gonna to pick one. I can't resist myself. It's almost like eating a grape, like it's that sweet. The skin on it is very, um, it's like crunchy, but not, um, not tough at all. It's just so delicious. So I started these from seed indoors. They grew under lights for about six weeks. I hardened them off outside. We put these directly in the garden um, right in the middle of April. And so this is uh, the middle of July right now. So we are May, June. These, these tomatoes have been in the garden for three months. So this gives you a picture of how many tomatoes you can get. Look at this vine. So it's kind of falling over. We need to do a little bit of trellising but look at this i mean these this thing just puts off the fruit it is incredible so <laughs> it just keeps coming and you can see how wild it is and just how he has bred these tomatoes to just fruit fruit and fruit so if you are looking for a tomato that's going to give you loads of fruit very easy to eat um, i cannot recommend the berries crazy cherry enough um, and it's definitely a showstopper. It's gonna get your friends talking. It's so fun to serve at a party or to bring to a friend's house because let's be honest, very few people have tomatoes that are as cute and petite and yellow as these and that taste as good as these do too. So this is a must grow in your kitchen garden. And when you order your seeds, make sure you tell Brad I sent you. Um, let me finish eating. Uh, if you want to get any of the raised beds or trellises that you see in this video, these are our Nicole panel trellises that we're using to grow our tomatoes on. These are our seal raised beds, our border beds. Um, these are cord and steel. And uh, then we have all kinds of other arch trellises and cedar raised beds that you can shop in the Gardenary shop at Gardenary.com. And if you wanna learn how to plant your kitchen garden, grow tomatoes, um, and set up your garden in the first place, we teach you all of that inside of Kitchen Garden Academy. You can learn all about Kitchen Garden Academy at the link below this video, or head to kitchengardenacademy.com to get on the wait list to know when the doors open next. Now, if you excuse me, I've got some tomato eating to do. Thanks for watching, bye.